Hey ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching CHM Tech and today I'm going to show you how to get the Windows 10 anniversary update now without having to wait for it to be available for your system. So Microsoft released the anniversary update on August the 2nd, but a lot of users are still going to have to wait a bit longer for the update to actually be available for them through regular updates. So normally to update Windows 10, you would go to your system settings, open up the security update section and click on check for updates. If the update is available, you would upgrade your system following the steps that the OS presents to you. But if you get a message like this saying that your device is up to date, you can still force update your system using the Windows 10 upgrade assistant that Microsoft offers on their official website. So here's how to do it. First off, you're going to open this page by clicking on the link in the video description. Once the page loads, you're going to click on the blue download link that says get the anniversary update now. That's going to download the upgrade assistant to your PC. Once your download is complete, you want to run the file you just downloaded. If you're using Google Chrome like me, you can instantly run it from the download bar at the bottom of the page. Once you run it, it's quickly going to check for updates and offer you to update to the latest version of Windows 10. So right here, you want to click update now. After that, it's going to check if your device is compatible, so you're going to give it a while to do that. If your device is compatible, you're going to see check marks next to these three components. So that's CPU, memory and disk space, which means that you can proceed by clicking next. If your device is not compatible, please check out the links in the description regarding the minimum system requirements. Now at this point, the upgrade assistant is going to get the update ready. Once it's finished, you're going to get this message. Your update is ready, your PC needs to restart to complete the update. Right now would be a good time to make sure that you save anything you may have been working on and that your device is plugged in and then click restart now. Then Windows is going to give you this short message and you're going to click close. Now this update can take up to 90 minutes to complete so at this point you might want to sit back and relax. When it finally completes, you're going to be greeted with this screen. If you have multiple users, select your admin account and click next. Now if you're wondering about the language, I have a combination of English and Croatian so that's why it says Dobrodošli u Windows 10. Anyways, now you're going to have to enter some settings that may or may not influence your sense of privacy. If you're not concerned about that, you can simply click on Use Express Settings. I on the other hand want to customize my settings so I'm going to click on the Customize button. By the way, have in mind that you can change these settings later on. But let's see what we have to begin with. Personalize your speech typing and inking input by sending your input data to Microsoft. I'm going to turn that off. Send typing and inking data to Microsoft to improve the recognition and suggestion platform. I'm going to turn that off as well. Let apps use your advertising ID also off and something about Skype. I'm going to turn that off as well. Moving down to the location service for now, I'm going to turn it off as well. If I need it later on, I can enable it through the Windows settings. Moving on to connectivity and error reporting. Now I'm going to turn everything off here. You can go through these yourself and determine which ones you want on, which ones you want off. Of course, like I mentioned earlier, you can change the settings later on if you need to. Finally, we have the browser protection and update settings. Use smart screen online services to help protect against malicious content and downloads in sites loaded by Windows browsers and store apps. I'm going to leave that on. As for page prediction, I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to turn off the option to get updates from and send updates to other PCs on the internet. Once you're done, click next and that should finalize your settings. Now Windows 10 is going to take a few minutes to actually start up and after a few on-screen messages, if you did everything correctly, you'll find that you successfully installed the anniversary update. Thank you. 
So I really hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and share it with anyone you think might also find it useful. For more videos in the future, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and as always, stay strong.